Thanks for stopping by the Eastman.com YouTube channel. And for weekly updates and brand new content that is exclusive to YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Hey guys, Brandon Mason here with Eastman's Hunting TV. We're here in the Wyoming backcountry after uh, we got a bull down. We're about five miles deep. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you the gutless method on how to bone out an animal. This way we're not going to be carrying out the extra weight of the bones in the meat. We're going to completely flay everything off. It's very efficient and a lot easier to pack out. It saves a ton of weight and time when you get back home or when you're taking it to the butcher. In this video, I'll show you how to remove a back strap. Start by making an incision in the hide from the neck down to the rear of the elk like I have already done here. This allows for easy access to the back strap and helps release heat from the carcass. Elk in particular hold much of their heat in this area which keeps them alive during the cold winter months. Next, carefully slice through the hide down toward the abdomen and begin peeling the hide away from the carcass to fully expose the back strap. Exit wound, part of the bullet, a little treasure to take home. We want to save the cape from this elk and I'll take extra care removing the hide in this case. Once the back strap is exposed, use your knife to begin removing the meat from the spine. Run your knife blade right along the backbone, moving from the head towards the rear. You can use the spine as a guide. Carefully remove any remaining connective tissue to fully expose the remainder of the back strap. This is more of a convenience factor, especially when it comes to final processing at your home on, on your kitchen table, preparing for the final cuts and packaging. Now you can use your knife to cut underneath the back strap along the rib cage. The rib cage will be your guide for this cut. Just continue to cut around the back strap from above and below. The spine and rib cage lie directly beneath and to the side of this cut of meat, making it easy to remove as one large piece. We spend this much time and effort doing what we do here in the field. It doesn't make a lot of sense to not properly care for the animal. This is what you work so hard for. You'll be able to enjoy this elk for at least the next year, if not longer. Peel the back strap away from the carcass as you make the final cuts to remove it. Place the back strap into a game bag while you continue butchering the rest of your animal. At Eastman's, we only use top quality game bags made of synthetic material to help stop bacteria growth 
and prevent meat spoilage and to keep flies and other pests off of your meat. This is one of the best cuts of meat that an elk or any wild game animal will provide. It's excellent table fare. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and exclusive Eastman's content. Still looking to take that once in a lifetime Western trophy? Eastman's hunting and bow hunting journals are the number one magazines for Western big game trophy hunters. Eastman's is the only big game hunting magazine engineered specifically for you, featuring entertaining Western hunting adventures, detailed equipment lists with head-to-head -head gear reviews, and species-specific tips and tactics. In the back of each subscriber issue, you'll find the exclusive Members Research section. We give you detailed statistical info, expert analysis, and advice on the hottest big game units. Act now. Subscribe to Eastman's Hunting or Bow Hunting Journals, and we'll throw in our latest trophy hunting DVD absolutely free. Shipping and handling charges apply. Eastman's, getting you on track to your trophy. Get all this for less than the price of six rounds of ammo. Eastman's, your stories, your photos, your magazines. Call to subscribe or get it digitally now.